Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Bezos, our investigation uncovered documents that show that Amazon sometimes doesn't play fairly, crossing the line from robust competition to predatory pricing to destroy rivals rather than outcompete them. And let's take the example of Quincy, which used to own diapers.com and provided online baby care products. In 2009, your team viewed diapers.com as Amazon's largest and fastest growing online competitor for diapers. One of Amazon's top executives said that diapers.com keeps the pressure on pricing on us and strong competition from diapers.com meant that Amazon was having to work harder and harder so that customers didn't pick diapers.com over Amazon. And the customers we're talking about were hardworking families, single parents with babies and young children. Now because diapers.com was so successful, Amazon saw it as a threat. The documents that we've obtained show that Amazon employees began strategizing about ways to weaken this company. And in 2010, Amazon hatched a plot to go after diapers.com and take it out. In an email that I reviewed, and we've got these up on the slides, one of your top executives proposed to you a, quote, aggressive plan to win, end quote, against diapers.com, a plan that sought to undercut their business by temporarily slashing Amazon prices. We saw one of your profit and loss statements, and it appears that in one month alone, Amazon was willing to bleed over $200 million in diaper profit losses. Um, Mr. Bezos, how much money was Amazon ultimately willing to lose on this campaign to undermine diapers.com? Uh, <clears throat> thank you for the question. I, I don't know the, answer, the direct answer to your question. This is going back in time, I think maybe 10 or 11 years or so. Uh, you could give me okay. maybe the dates on those documents. But okay. what I can tell you is that the idea of using uh, diapers and products like that to attract new customers who, are, who have new families is a very traditional idea. Sure, but let's uh, delve into idea. this Neither a little diapers. further. Com. I'm sorry, you know I only have a few minutes here, so I just of want course. to press on. Um, your own documents make clear that the price war against diapers.com worked, and within a few months it was struggling, and so then Amazon bought it. After buying your leading competitor here, Amazon cut promotions like Amazon.mom and the steep discounts it used to lure customers away from diapers.com and then increase the prices of diapers for new moms and dads. Mr. Bezos, did you personally sign off on the plan to raise prices after Amazon eliminated its competition? I don't remember uh, that at Thank all. Uh, what you. I remember is that we we we, we matched competitive prices, and we f I believe we followed diapers.com. Again, this is 11 years ago, so you're asking a lot of my memory. But I believe we followed diapers.com. I can also tell you after we bought diapers.com, okay, we put Just more than 300 on. million dollars into trying time, to make sir. it successful. I'm sorry. Um, so you said that Amazon focuses excessively on customers. So how would customers, especially single moms, new families? How would they benefit when the prices were driven up by the fact that you eliminated your main competitor? Well, I don't agree with great respect. I don't agree with the premise. Uh, at the same time, you should recognize in context, diapers is a very large uh, product category sold in many, many places, not just right, at Amazon. This was and the online diaper it's market. Sold now, at we do so have evidence that these predatory, I'm sorry, Mr. Bezos, Walmart I need to so push on, on here. Of course, um, sorry. The evidence we've collected suggests that the predatory practices weren't unique here. In 2013, it was reported that you instructed Amazon employees to approach discussions with certain business partners, and I quote, the way a cheetah would pursue a sickly gazelle. Is the gazelle project still in place, and does Amazon pursue similar predatory campaigns in other parts of its business? I I, I cannot uh, uh, comment on that because I don't remember it. Uh, what I can tell you is that we are very, very focused on the customer as you started. Okay. And of well, course, that I'm does include bargaining very hard with well, vendors and suppliers the to get the lowest prices so that we can offer I'm those sorry, to customers. I'm sorry, Mr. Bezos, well, I'm almost out of time. I'm concerned too, because especially with the current pandemic, uh, one of the biggest needs I'm seeing at the food drives and the giveaways that we're having to run in my district is that families um, don't have diapers and we have to collect them to give them out. So it certainly is so something that uh, has a really hard impact on families and, uh, and I'm really concerned that 
uh, pricing might have been driven up here by this tactic, and I yield back. <laughs>